Welcome back to my channel, fellow candle connoisseurs. Um, this is my third video. I'm doing uh, these three in a row. Um, I'm in the process of moving. That's why I am just using my hand held camera um, and I don't have my background uh, decorated like I want yet. But once I get settled, I will have some nice backgrounds for you and it will be more um, professional videos. Um, but like I said, this is just my third video. I'm just starting my channel and I want to um, grow with you and show some candles that I haven't really seen by other reviewers. Um, this one is from Sonoma. It's called Crackling Cedarwood. Um, this one has been reviewed, but I wanted to give my personal perspective on it. I actually heard about it from Philly Candleman, um, and I am so glad I listened to him and got it. He raved about it, and it is a wonderful candle. It's, um, like I said, from Sonoma, 14 ounces, three wick candle. Um, the notes are smoked wood, warm vanilla, and sweet tobacco. Um, I didn't know what I was going to get from those type of notes when I first ordered it. Um, and I still am kind of perplexed with the scent of it because it doesn't really fit the scent notes and I really can't describe it to be honest. It's just a very unique scent which I like. Um, I mentioned in my second video I don't like these cookie cutter scents even though I do have a few of them. I like unique fragrances and this is very unique. It's so inviting. Um, I don't get like a really super warm note from it like I thought it was going to be. Um, I just get a really refreshing kind of citrusy scent from it. Um, I don't really get a really vanilla scent. I guess I'm really smelling that sweet tobacco in it. Um, with the smoke wood, but it seems more of kind of like a citrus scent. It's just really hard to describe, but it's really nice. It's really unique, and I really suggest that you go to your Sonoma if you can and smell it. If not, even if you blindly order it, you will not regret it. It is such a nice candle. Um, this one, though, I have had problems with puny wicks, and I have had to cotton ball it a lot. So I was very disappointed about that. Um, but even though I had that issue, I ordered another candle because I just love the scent. Um, it seems like with Sonoma candles, um, besides the toasted marshmallow, they have their best, uh, strongest uh, scent in the very beginning, say three or four burns. Um, then after that, you do lose a little bit of the scent, but it's still not bad. Um, this candle, I would give it, when you first burn it, the first three burns, I would say it's a, about a seven in a medium room. Um, you can smell it really good when you come in the room, and it does travel a tiny bit into the hall. Um, after you've burned it for a while, um, I would say it's a good um because you kind of get nose blind to it but if you go out and come back in you definitely smell it and you can really still smell it in a small room I don't recommend it for an open concept room um, like I said I had a lot of puny wicks I had a cotton ball it but even with those problems it's still such a wonderful scent I recommend it um, good flames after you cotton ball it as you can see from the video. I'll put it up there so you can see it. And like I said, I really can't describe it. I It kind of just smells um, citrusy, um, really sweet from that sweet tobacco. Um, I really don't get the vanilla. I guess the smoked wood, but it's not really smoky. Um, just a good overall candle. So once again, thank you so much for watching my video. Please like and subscribe. Please don't leave negative uh, comments. This is just 
um, my opinions and I'm just here to have fun in the candle community and get my views out like um, everyone else. And I hope to uh, grow a good uh, community with you all. So thanks again and you guys have a great day.